What is good, C-Squad? Today we're watching Meat Canyon's most viewed videos. The link to Meat Canyon will be in the description below. And make sure to watch till the end of the video because I'm gonna be doing a big giveaway. And if you enjoy the video, then make sure to like and subscribe. Today, I just bought my most terminally ill fan his replacement heart. Oh my God. Is that Mr. Beast? This kid looks sick as heck, dude. Bruh. Oh man. With everything going on with Mr. Beast and Chris, was that their name? Look, I'm not gonna get into it. All I will say, if you're 18 or older, and if you're texting weird things to minors, you're a piece of shit. Do you want a heart to save your life? Or do you want a Mr. Beast rap Tesla? I would literally kill myself for a Tesla. You know, a Tesla would be nice. I don't know if I'd kill myself over it. Also, I'm assuming this person is Carl and that's Chandler. Is that supposed to be Chris? Wait a minute, why does his sweater say hashtag charity corn? Is that an inside joke? If you know what that's referring to, let me know in the comments. Good boy. <laughs> What? That's one of the reasons why I love these Meat Canyon videos. The most random things just happen. Now, you have to search these hundred coolers filled with human hearts. I wonder who he's texting. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if this guy should be doing this. <laughs> Why is Chandler stomping on that heart? Jesus. Also, speaking of Chandler, doesn't he, doesn't he read the Bible on his TikTok now? Thick Jimmy. looking to place them among us with my boys. Nope. You know, I was just gonna mention that compared to most Meat Canyon videos, these characters are at least human, the regular. I take that all back. You got about 20 more seconds to find the key. Oh, what seems to be going on in here? Oh my God, it's Mr. Beast. Oh, I've been a fan since 1 million subs. Oh man, this is awesome. Always great to hear. I'm actually curious, since I assume most of you have watched Mr. Beast's videos, what was your first Mr. Beast video? The first Mr. Beast video I watched, it was when he traded in like a bunch of pennies and bought either his dad or his brother a car. Ah, uh, I got it. I got the Tesla key. Uh, congrats on your new car. Now, unfortunately, you won't be able to get a new heart and you're still on track to die in about two weeks. Jesus Christ, Jimmy. But don't worry. We will be planting 2,000 trees outside of Liberty, Missouri in your name. Also, we'll be planting 1,000 trees for every million views this video gets. So please share, like, and comment, and rewatch this so we can keep this brave man's legacy alive. You hear that? Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video. I didn't say it, Mr. Beast did. I have a, a donor coming out of state to bring me a new heart in a few days, so I think I should recover, okay? Bruh. <laughs> oh my god, that was so random. Hey, where are we dropping, boys? Today, I just bought this entire hospital. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Meat Canyon is so wild. Also, the hospital is called Hunter Hancock. And if you didn't know, Hunter Hancock is Mr. Meat Canyon himself. In all seriousness, though, I really do hope that Jimmy is clean. I really hope he wasn't aware of Chris's actions. I'm not even that big of a fan of Mr. Beast. I just understand how big of a person he is in the YouTube space. Anyway, moving on. Another beautiful day at the Krusty Krab. What the fuck? Look at those teeth. Also, the design of SpongeBob is amazing. Another day servicing the masses. Oh, SpongeBob. They can't get enough. They want more. What am I watching? I mean, I know I'm watching Meat Canyon, but good God, Mr. Squidward. By the way, real quick, I just wanna say, the people at Meat Canyon are super talented. I love how they have the background, like how it looks normally in SpongeBob, but then you have SpongeBob and Squidward, Meat canyon -ified. More of that secret formula. Oh, no, dude! 
is SpongeBob the secret formula? Gross. That is nasty. That smells good. Doesn't it, Mr. Krabs? I am going to have nightmares. I didn't do Mr. Squidward. Aw, oh, Minnie Patrick. He looks really scared, actually. Sponge me, boy. Maybe a bit more of that secret formula. Is that good, Mr. Krabs? Is that how you like it? Don't stare at the camera, SpongeBob, please. I don't want to look at you head on. Also, I love how they gave Mr. Krabs a gold tooth. I hate that Mr. Krabs' eyes aren't, like, erect, you know? The salty dog wants even more. Can you feel that? Oh, God. I can feel it, Mr. Krabs. And Mr. Krabs is dipping his hand in the old honey jar, isn't he? No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. No, no. Only Meat Canyon could turn a popular saying into something like this. No, don't leave me out. I need you, SpongeBob. Go on and get yourself a handful. You know, SpongeBob does oddly look pretty tasty. Aren't SpongeBob's parents, aren't they cookies? Oh my god, it's so fucking good. By the way, as messed up as this is, it's actually oddly accurate to the show because the reason why the Krabby Patty tastes so good is because of SpongeBob's, I guess, positive attitude and the way he makes it. His love, if you will. Oh, secret formula. Oh, take all of the secret formula. Was that good for you? Why does every Meat Canyon character have their balls bulging out? Did I satisfy you all? I, you did me, boy, but you're all used up, drained me, lad. Oh, I just realized that Squidward and Mr. Krabs are supposed to be Nickelodeon because Nickelodeon won't let SpongeBob end. I love my job at the Krusty Krab. I wouldn't change it for anything in the whole world. I make people happy. I fulfill their needs. Frankly, I don't think I could stop even if I wanted to. But who would want to stop when people love what you do? That ending right there got very, very personal because I can relate to a lot of what he just said. I feel like a lot of us could relate to what SpongeBob just said. I have to give Meat Canyon a lot of credit. A lot of his videos have serious messages. Like not every Meat Canyon video is just grotesque humor. A lot of times it has a very good underlining message. <laughs> watch, 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 watch. <laughs> he turns into the car. Because <laughs> you know the lyrics of the song. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Oh, for fuck's sake. How is a DaBaby video Meat Canyon's third most popular video? It has 24 million views. It wasn't even funny. But he's a rapper. I pull up. Whoa, it's DaBaby. Bro, I was just showing my girl memes about you. Let's go. <laughs> We went from SpongeBob to the baby. Let that sink in. Let's go. Hey, what, the, what are you doing, man? <gasps> Jeremy, stop him! Hey, get off my girl! Don't touch her, bro. Let's go. The <laughs> babies, they're everywhere. Well, this just became a horror movie. <laughs> Don't touch me! Get, get off me, man! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go! What the hell is happening? This just got super messed up real quick. <laughs> Jeremy! No! Don't hurt him! Let's go! Really? Now we have baby to baby. I am about to crash out. <coughs> Hey, 
hey, now they have the N-word pass. I pull up. Let's go. I pull up. Oh, was that a, a My Neighbor Totoro reference? You know, the cat that's also a bus. I will say the animation of him turning into a car was actually really smooth. Ooh, doesn't this look good? Oh, it got on my shirt. Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm out of food. <laughs> oh, for the love of God. Is this supposed to be Nick Avocado or Nick Avado? I actually don't even know how to say his name, but isn't he the guy who was originally really skinny and then gained a lot of weight over time? I've actually never watched any of his videos. Ooh, look at this though. Mm, that's tasty. And I know all you trolls come to my channel and tell me to eat healthy food. But then if I eat healthy food, no one watches the video. You know, that's actually oddly true. I've never seen like a salad mukbang or like a cucumber mukbang. Actually, there's probably a cucumber video on the hub. Record two more today. If I keep uploading at this rate, we'll be able to get that house we were looking at. Who knows? Maybe we can even get matching G wagons. <laughs> oh, uh, uh. No, 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 no. Why is everything he's touching turning to slop? If there's a message here, I'm not getting it. <gasps> Don't touch me! What is going on? I'm so lost. Oh, I get it. Maybe? Ugh. Oh, that was gross. Well, Charlie, you're the last child left. Isn't that exciting? I don't know. You're a very lucky little boy. You get to see what's behind that door. Now, Charlie. Don't you want to see what's behind that door? I don't know. Come on, it'll be fun. Follow me. Um, I'm getting some very bad vibes. I'm getting some real Dr. Disrespect vibes here. Huh, caught you taking a peek there, Charlie. <laughs> That's all right. Nothing wrong with window shopping from time to time. It's when you get handsy. It's when you get yourself into some trouble. Stop, cut it off, cut it off, we're done, we're done. There's one last part of the factory I'd like to show you. Go ahead and taste the wall. Whoa, that transition was cool. Also, why is Wonka asking Charlie to lick the wall? Those walls look like regular walls to me. This looks like a dungeon. Well, what flavor do you think it is? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Charlie, I'm just messing with you. There's no flavor on the wall. You like that rust pretty good, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not funny. This is very serious. The delivery on that line was pretty funny. Don't worry. We'll get you a little tetanus shot before you leave. Oh, where's my grandpa? Oh, he's just hanging around. Don't worry. You're in good hands. It's really cool how a Meat Canyon in this video is mixing 3D with 2D. It really adds to the creepy atmosphere. Take a look at this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I know a lot of celebrities, I guess. I like their finger around here in the factory from time to time. Huh? Finger? Is that Ronald Reagan? Also, he's looking at that little kid puppet a little too seductively. Also, why was Charlie's grandpa counting money? And do you know who this is, Charlie? Uh, I don't know. That's the 42nd president of the United States, Bill Clinton. I don't want to talk about it. 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 You know, Charlie, your clothes look awfully filthy. I'm all for a little stink, but... Best to get you some clean clothes, you know, for later. Uh. Oh. Oompa loompa doopa dee doo. You are a filthy boy, yes, that's true. Uh, uh, 
You have soft hands and beautiful eyes. Dude, what is happening? These Oompa Loompas are terrifying. Does anyone here watching this video remember that one Charlie and the Chocolate Factory parody movie? Oh, uh, what was it called? Oh yeah, this one. 2% on Rotten Tomatoes. Sorry about that, Charlie. That didn't make you feel uncomfortable, did it? Uh, I don't know. I feel very uncomfortable watching this, and I'm a 23-year-old man. Gosh, Charlie, I, I gotta tell you, my back and shoulders are tight. <laughs> Running a factory sure does have its physical costs. Have you ever, uh... Had a massage, Charlie. Uh, 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 uh. I don't want to watch this anymore, please. This is so uncomfortable. Your hands look very soft. <laughs> also strong. Very strong. You play much baseball? Uh, I don't know. Only a couple of rooms down. Come on, big guy. Oh my god, dude. I feel all gross. Charlie, you wouldn't mind giving me a quick massage, would you, pal? I hate to be a stickler about the rules, but... The golden ticket you have there states that I can ask for a free massage at any time. You look like you don't believe me. Go ahead and take a look. Present this ticket at the factory gates at 10 o'clock in the morning of the first day of October and do not be late. You may bring with you one member of your own family with legal documentation regarding the underage holder of this ticket. If you are above the age of 15, disregard this ticket and give it to a younger sibling. This video is getting demonetized. Underage guest may be asked to give Mr. Wonka a massage at any given time. Polar and videos may be present during said massage. By presenting this ticket, you hereby agree to said conditions of massaging Mr. Wonka. RM? What does the RM stand for? We've really bonded, Charlie. I'm excited to get to know you a whole lot better. Oh, hell no. If I saw that, I'm turning the other way and I am running. Charlie, let's put those hands to good use. What do you say? You didn't see anything. You hear me, you little shit? You didn't see a fucking thing. We didn't know what was going on here. We didn't know what the fucking thing. Don't worry, son. You're safe now. He didn't hurt you, did he? Oh my god, thank you. I would have screamed if the video would have ended right there after Wonka put the lotion on his hand. Also, did Charlie's grandpa die? Charlie, my friend. I made it out of the chocolate river, Charlie. Charlie! Oh, uh, Jesus Christ! He's got a gun! It was... It was just some German kid. Damn! Uh, chocolate monsters, yeah! That's it! We don't want to tell anyone about what happened here today with the chocolate monsters. Right, Charlie? Well, I don't know. Hmm. Get him out of here! Why was there just racism thrown at the end of that? That was the most random ending ever. Uh, I did it! We did it! Finally! Mom! Mom, get in here! What is it, dear? Everything okay? It couldn't be better! I just hit a million consecutive viewers on my Twitch! A million viewers on Twitch? Like, live viewers? That is insane to have. Actually, didn't Dream's face reveal live stream have like, almost 3 million viewers? Now that is insane. I'm the chosen one! Well, someone's been watching The Matrix again. No, mom! <laughs> no! It means I'm a god. What are you? Can't you hear the mother? The bells! I'm getting a very religious vibe from this. Speaking of Minecraft YouTubers, when I was younger, the main YouTuber that I watched that played Minecraft, their name was Stampy Longhead, or was it Stampy Long Nose? I can't remember. Take me now! I'm ready! Oh my, oh my god! Afraid. Oh, I've ascended oh, to another plane. Oh, oh, the Minecraft waits for me now. I love and hate that his skin didn't form with his body, so now it's all stretched out. Oh, that is so gross, but also really fucking cool. 
The world is so colorless, so empty and void of light. But not here. There is no limit to the possibilities. This is literally just religion. They're putting him on a damn cross and nailing him to it. I give my life to you, Minecraft. I give my life to you. <laughs> Poggers. No, I don't. I don't know. I'm telling you what I know. I, he went to the game. I don't know how else to say it. He's in the, he got sucked into the game. I don't know what happened. I saw the face of God and it was square. It was square! I'm assuming the Minecraft God is Notch or Microsoft. And since you stayed until the end of the video, I am going to be doing a Raycon giveaway where I'll be giving away Raycon earbuds and a case cover. And all you have to do to enter is comment down below your best non-offensive joke and make sure to leave in that comment either your Discord, your Twitter handle, or your TikTok handle. That way I can get a hold of you if you win. And by the way, this giveaway is US only. So sorry if you don't live in the US and have a good rest of your day.